Hello children welcome back to my motherhood studio today i am here with a story which is little different from the usual ones which i have been reading to you all this while since all of us are using so much internet nowadays i thought why not read a story about internet today how is the idea isn't that interesting so come let's read a book about internet today so the title of my today's story is lost in the internet and the author of the story is chris stokes and madhurima chakraborty and illustrations are done by gorav vakankar so come let's see who is lost in the internet today oh here i see i see kunal is busy with his mummy's phone do you all do that too i'm sure you are doing it right now but it isn't very good to get lost in the internet all the time you want to know why come let's kick start our story kunal loved the internet he was always asking mummy for her phone so he could watch videos don't watch for too long or you will get pulled in mummy warned him you know what kunal did first kunal watched a video of cartoon ninjas next he watched one of a volcano spewing lava then he watched one of a baby playing with a dog with each video kunal's face came closer and closer to the screen suddenly scoop kunal was sucked into the internet Where am I? Where am I? Kunal had landed on a platform in a strange train station. All around him, trains whooshed in and out through tunnels. A sign popped up pop, above his head. It read "Core Router," and Kunal started wondering, "How did I get here? And how will I get out?" Then Kunal saw a woman on the platform. She looked very busy directing the trains and then Kunal slowly walked up to her and said Excuse me auntie where are all these trains going She he went ahead and asked her and then let's see what the auntie said I am transmission control protocol she said busily but you can call me TCP These trains are taking data to different parts of the internet. Kunal kept watching TCP as her hand swiftly moved things around on a large screen. Wow, he said. What are you doing, TCP auntie? And let's see what she replied. I am routing data through the internet, of course. Everything has to go fast, 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 fast. the trains whooshed away carrying data in every direction and then kunal wondered again are all the phones and computers on the internet connected asked kunal an idea forming in his mind yes said tcp anchi all the devices on the internet are connected these tunnels are actually wires cables radio waves and satellites in space TCP auntie if all the devices on the internet are connected can you please help me get back home auntie said of course she looked kunal up and down we'll send you by packet switching first we'll break you into a few thousand pieces then we'll send all your bits by different paths and put you back together later no no kunal said hurriedly is isn't there another way hmm tcp frowned sending you all together by circuit switching is a lot less efficient but if you insist now let's ask your mother for your address but i know my address kunal said confused Not your home address, replied TCP. Your internet address. She opened up a chat window in the air and quickly explained everything to Kunal's mother. And Kunal's mother replied, "We host a website on my computer, KunalBabyPictures.com. Can you find that?" She said. "We can find your mummy's computer using the internet protocol or IP," TCP said. 
every computer and website on the internet has a unique number called an IP address. TCP opened a big book with DNS written on the cover. This book contains the IP address of every website on the internet, she told Kunal. She looked through it carefully until she said, Oh, found it! Here, said TCP, you'll need to be encrypted so that nobody else can grab you on the way. TCP handed Kunal a hat and silly glasses with a nose and moustache attached. You are a very sensitive data, indeed, she said. Goodbye, TCP auntie, Kunal replied cheerfully. Kunal was moving fast, very fast. His arms and legs tingled and then pop, he was back home. And his mummy was so happy. My dear, mummy said, it's good to have you back. Next time, learn about the internet by reading about it, not getting lost inside it. Kunal loved the internet, but he loved being home even more. So children, we should enjoy things at home and not watch too much screen. All right, but before I leave today, I want to share some more information about internet with all of you. Come, let's read that too. So what is the internet? The internet is the name for all the different computers, phones and tablets that are connected to each other. It is a system that is spread across the entire world. It lets us transfer data from one computer to another through copper wires, fiber optic cables, radio transmissions and satellites in space. Every device that is connected to the internet has a unique number called an IP address. So go check with your parents today. What kind of data transfer are you using on your computer? Nowadays, mostly everybody is using fiber optic cables in their houses to access the internet. Also request your parents to show you how an IP address looks like and how it is unique. And another interesting fact is how does this data travel? There are many kinds of data, you know, which are sent through the internet such as emails, web pages, how when you do video chats with your friends and family, you send pictures. So all that is done through a set of rules and procedures used by computer and that is called transmission control protocol. What it does, it first breaks all the data into small chunks called packets and then these packets are put together again in the right order when they reach their correct destination. This method of data transfer is called packet switching and then there is another method that is called circuit switching. The entire data is sent through a single path. This is a less efficient method than packet switching. So this is how your pictures and videos and emails and everything gets transferred from one device to the other. So this is all the information I have to share with you all for today and I will be back again soon with another interesting story. Thank you so much for watching this video and listening to this story. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications for every new upload and I will be seeing you back again soon. Till then, tata, bye bye.